Okay, last year during COVID, I didn't do anything but stream. I wasn't going to school. I wasn't really hanging out with people. I had a couple of instances where I went out and hung out with people in the real world. But for the most part, uh, my, my entire life was wake up, you know, dick around on Twitch a little bit, chat in people's chats, watch a couple other people's chats, and then stream. Stream and then go straight to bed. Or stream, stay up, watch a couple other streams and go to bed. My entire life was on Twitch. Um, I don't remember very much of 2020, you know? After I dropped out of classes because they went all virtual learning or whatever and I didn't want to use my GI Bill on that, um, like last year really flew by. And the days and weeks and months really just flew by. I couldn't even, you know, I couldn't count them. I couldn't really tell you what two days were not completely similar that weren't filled with some other activity. Now that I'm going to school full time, uh, I'm noticing that the time is, is much more conspicuous. I'm looking at the calendar days and it feels like I'm in those calendar days for much longer because I'm looking forward towards something, you know, which was something I wasn't really, that wasn't happening last year. And each day is busy and I've got an array of tasks that I have to complete by the end of the day. My life feels extended by this pursuit. And it, you know, one thing that you notice when you get older is that the time seems to fly by. To fly by. Uh, you guys remember me last year saying that I was probably 35. I think I was 33 last year. I turned 34 this past year. But I've been saying that I'm 35 for two years just because, like, at some point you lose count and the time just really starts to feel like it flies by. I think that has less to do with age and more to do with activity. I think, like, old people who be getting old and you know, feeling like the time just flies from right underneath them. They just haven't shaken it up. They just haven't changed their routine a whole lot because now I'm in a place where my routine has been shaken up. I'm back in school. I'm looking at doing, you know, other things and, and going out and trying to participate in other things. And suddenly I'm stuck in, in the months, you know, I'm lost in weeks and I'm lost in months as opposed to being, you know, lost in years or like the pages of my life flipping past like a, like a notebook, like a, like a flip book. Hey, Cherry. Thank you for the raid. So this is like another life hack I've uh, I've experienced in the past, in the very recent past, which is when it feels like time is flying by and your life is passing you by, I think you need to make a change if you don't like that. If you don't like that your life is, is passing you by and that time is flying by, you got to find some activities to get involved in. You got to get busy. And I don't know. It's funny because it kind of goes both ways. If you have loved ones surrounding you, then you being busy all the time can feel to them like they don't get any time with you and they're just waiting for you to not be busy. So if you have a loved one that's very busy, it's actually pretty good, I think, advice to, to become, try to find a way to be busy yourself. And if you're busy and your significant other isn't, you should try to encourage them to get involved in stuff. And, you know, it really depends on the individual, I suppose. But on some level, when I feel like life is flying me by, I have a very clear example of, of uh, you know, in my very recent history, basically right now, as compared to the previous year where all I did was wake up, stream, and go to sleep, where I feel like uh, time is moving at a crawl and I'm enjoying it. It's allowing me to sit in it. And, and the older you get, the more you're going to, the more you're going to feel for days past that you didn't live to their fullest. But it's never too late. And... No matter how old you are, you still have potentially glory days ahead of you, and there's plenty of time to enjoy the life that you have, no matter what age you are. I actually love that time seems to go faster as I get older. What do you love about that? It's certainly, there's certainly a greater theme as I've gotten older, that I get more comfortable in abstract concepts and being able to see things from the top down and being able to make more big picture analyses and, and that sort of thing. And I don't know if that's a brain thing or a familiarity thing. Uh, when I say a brain thing, like a like a develop like a real biological development thing, or if that's just a matter of me being more familiar with these topics and like in order to achieve like uh, the ability to see things strategically, or the ability to be able to to analyze things from the top down or from a big picture perspective, if that requires some level of mastery of all the components underneath, and you know maybe it's just a totally incidental that it takes an amount of time um to to earn that mastery in those sort of subtopics in order for you to apply a more big picture analysis is there anything you wished you'd spent more time on before not off the top of my head personally 
everybody says shit like i wish i'd taken school more seriously or um you know some people say i wish i had told this girl how i felt about her i personally don't have those regrets uh even not taking school terribly seriously i don't really have those regrets because i was exploring things you know uh, i wasn't doing homework but i was exploring a whole lot of different kinds of music and i was like watching tv shows and like even when i was wasting my you know it's conventionally considered to be wasting your time i was playing a lot of mmos that was just i i personally consider the time that i spent playing like mmos instead of doing schoolwork, which is largely one of the huge reasons why i like nearly almost fa like failed out of high school really i really almost failed out of high school because i was playing mmos and stuff but I think it accelerated my socialization and, and more than just my socialization, because, uh, you know, most, I think, left leaning people or, or sociologists will consider socialization to be primarily kind of a negative thing. But it, it accelerated my social skills because I was hanging out with people in their mid 20s and like growing into their 30s. And these are people that are very comfortable with who they are and they're very comfortable in social settings. And so those were my peers for a time. And I was, you know, I had always been considered as having kind of an old soul, uh, similar to book smarts. I think a lot of people look at book smarts that are older than book smarts and figure this guy's a little too fucking wise for his age. He's in his mid twenties. I don't know how many people knew that mid to early twenties. He might be 25 at this exact moment, but, um, you know, he's got kind of an old soul. He's a little bit wise beyond his years. Uh, some people felt that way, you know, or have made comments that I was that way. I personally attribute some, some amount of this to, the fact that I was like playing MMOs with people that were much older than me and I was learning from them. Socialization is negative according to sociologists. Uh, I think typically when soci like in the field of sociology, when they talk about socialization, it's from a perspective of like, this is kind of a way you're just led to believe about things that may not necessarily be true or something, which I think there's value to this perspective. Thanks for your insight. It makes me feel better about the time I spend outside of school. Uh, yeah, I also, what else did I do instead of classwork? I watched a lot of Star Trek, and Star Trek, I feel, personally accelerated me towards being interested in topics like philosophy and, um, you know, anthropology and, and whatnot, because the show touches on a lot of those themes quite often.